welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'd like to share with you guys how i'd style some key winter pieces now this includes the blazer the coats the sweater and all that jazz so hope you guys enjoy and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can get notified of more videos like this now let's get on with the video so first up is the blazer. In here, I am wearing my Everlean Terracotta Houndstooth blazer, which is one of my favorite at the moment. Now I got this blazer because I find the color is unique and not one that you can see often in a houndstooth design, which, you know, is usually black and white. This is also oversized, hence the boxy fit, so just make sure to get the right size for you, especially if you're petite like me. I paired this blazer over a light colored outfit to emphasize the neutral colors and of course for my Everlane glove boots, which I will be wearing all throughout this styling. The top is also from Everlane, which is a pink ballerina cashmere worn over my Portman jeans. Winter is something without accessories, so I decided to add this cute neutral beret and this purple checkered knit scarf just to accentuate things further. I'll put all the descriptions of my outfits down below, so make sure to check out the description box for reference. So next winter piece item is the coat. My first example for it is this gorgeous burgundy coat from Forever New. I was inspired by its rich jewel tone hue that I decided to pair it with a bold green colored top, which reminds me of three things actually. The emerald and ruby gemstones, and believe it or not, an eggplant. But you know, eggplant or not, I am loving the color combinations of all these three. That goes to show that style inspirations can be taken from literally anywhere, even those you can see in your kitchen. Anyhow, um, kidding aside, I used a black pants to tone things down a bit, given that my top coat and shoes are bright and bold colors as it is, but also I decided to use a black leather pants just to add texture to the entire outfit. For accessories, I decided to keep it fairly simple with gold jewelry for my earrings and my necklace. Another example of the coat is the classic trench. I love wearing a trench coat, especially if you would expect some rain and a very cold weather. This coat right here is something that I have thrifted a few years back and is now a very much staple in my winter wardrobe. I paired this with another Everlane Ballerina cashmere top over a black leggings, another thrifted item, which by the way, I'm amazed how these leggings has kept up with me for like six years now. Yeah, the quality is really amazing. This brand of leggings is called Vigorella and it is an Australian brand. I will link their site into the description box down below. Again, for accessories, I decided to use a beanie on this outfit, coupled with this purple knit scarf, which I think adds an extra oomph to this entire look. Next winter piece item is the puffer jacket. This is a definite must-have for the season because it gives the best warmth out of all outerwears. However, it's something I find tricky to wear for us petites, especially due to the bulkiness of it, which can overpower our already short frame. So, my tip for wearing puffer jackets is to wear layers underneath. If you have a good quality cashmere or wool, sometimes a single layer would be enough. But of course, this would be dependent on where you live and what type of winter you have in your location, so just keep this in mind. I, on the other hand, usually wear skinny jeans or leggings with puffer jackets because I find that it streamlines the entire look and it complements the volume and the bulk that the puffer jacket brings. This dark green puffer here is a sample sale I got from a Giordano outlet store and I like how it has a hoodie on it as well. Again, I paired it with this Vigorella leggings and my Everlane glove boots which adds a cute pop of color to an otherwise monochromatic style. 
For my scarf, I chose this white knit scarf just as an added element of warmth for this winter look. Another puffer jacket I wanted to show you guys is this Everlane purple puffer which is absolutely light and is not as bulky as a lot of puffers out there. This caught my eye because of its lovely lilac color which is easy to style with and I was curious as well on how Everlane puffers would compare with other brands such as Uniqlo and Kathmandu. I must say I'm not disappointed. Like I said, it's light provides good warmth on winter days, and more importantly, it's easy to pack because it's not bulky. I used my Everlane mock neck cashmere as my top again, over with my Vigorella leggings and these Everlane glove boots, which complements the sweater that I am wearing. To keep the outfit more interesting though, I thought to add this bright red beret which gives a subtle pop of color to this muted neutral outfit and this white knit scarf from my previous example just to tie everything into one stylized look. Last winter piece item is the sweater. Depending on how cold it is, a good old big sweater is something I prefer because it's easier to wear layers underneath and it makes me feel cozy especially if it's a chunkier material like this texture cotton sweater from Everlane which by the way is currently on half price at the time of posting this video so check it out. I will link the site on the description box below. So again, this sweater you guys is really comfortable. It's a chunky knit combination of cotton and nylon, perfect with something like a cashmere or a wool underneath. I have worn this over another Everlane favorite, which is the straight leg crop pants. I got this on an ankle length, which suits really well for my short height. For this outfit, I also used my trusty brown leather belt, which I think is crucial in elevating this style over my Everlane glove boots because of its brown color. And also, if you know me, I've been banging on how important it is to tuck your tops, sweaters included if you can, to make your height look visually taller, which is something I have shared on my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I will link that video on the description box as well. Last but not the least, I chose this pink and grey snood which I got as a gift from my friend and I absolutely adore it. The design and color is cozy from the get-go and it adds such beautiful detail on a simple outfit. Now, this pose wouldn't be complete without the star of this style guide, the Everlane glove boots re it in the color toffee. This is as gorgeous as you see it in person and the color, oh, I'm loving the color very much, that you can see how easy it is to style it with all the outfit looks on this video. Plus, just the design of it alone is so elegant with that squared pointy toe and the texturized material. It's one of those unique boots that I haven't seen elsewhere at the moment. Also, these boots are made out of recycled plastic bottles. Yes, nine plastic bottles for every pair to be exact according to their website and you wouldn't believe how such beautiful quality footwear can come out of plastic bottles. You can just wear this straight out of the box because it is that comfortable too. And that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching this video and hope that each style guide was helpful one way or the other in your day-to-day -day outfit inspiration. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updated on more petite styling and fashion how-tos. Again, this is Vanessa from All Mod Things and hope to see you back on the next upload. Bye!